As you recall in the previous training video, we learned how to turn on the track changes feature, which means that any time that anybody makes changes to the document, it'll keep track of it. Like any insertions or added text, it'll keep track of it in blue with an underline. Any deletions, it'll keep track of it in red with a line through it. Also, I asked Mr. Humphreys to go ahead and make some changes and add some comments to some of the changes so you can see the difference between his comments and mine. Mine are in red, his are in purple. And if we had somebody else collaborating on this document, when they insert a comment, it'll be in a different color as well. So that way, you can go ahead and hover over it. Gives you a pop-up, gives you the full name of the user who made the change, and also, of course, the date and time. And here's some changes down here with no comments, again, by Mr. Humphreys here. Now, when going through the document, let's say we have five people that are collaborating on this, and I only want to see the reviews from one person, then come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Tracking Group, click on the Show Markup drop-down arrow, go to the Reviewers, and go ahead and uncheck which person that you don't want to review, so I'd uncheck myself. It gets rid of the uh, review, but not the text or the changes that I made, okay? So I added text, add text is still there, but it just unhighlights it, so I'm not focusing on that review. Just these reviews that are highlighted by Mr. Wilberforce. So if I come back up here, click on Show Markup, go back to Reviewers and say, I want to see everybody. Then it highlights the changes that were made, not only by Mr. Humphreys, but also by me. Now, once I get this document back and I'm like, oh boy, there's some things I'd like to keep, some things I'd not like to keep. Well, first of all, I'm going to come up here and click on Track Changes to turn it off. So if for any reason I add some additional text, I'm not tracking it myself. With that off, I want to come back up here on the Review tab to the Changes group and go ahead and go from one change to the next and then accept or reject that change. So for me, I want to start in the upper left-hand corner on the first page so I can go from top to bottom. So I can go ahead and click Next. It goes to the very first change, well, that I made. And I can go ahead and accept it where it said Add Text or Reject It. If I go ahead and click on Reject, it gets rid of it, okay? And it goes to the next change where Night was deleted. I can go ahead and accept it or reject it. You also have a drop-down arrow. So instead of just accepting and rejecting one change at a time, you can go ahead and say reject all changes in the document, but that's something I don't recommend, unless you're positive that you're not going to accept any changes that anybody suggested or made, okay? Then, of course, you have reject and move to the next, which is just like clicking on the button here, and then this one rejecting change without moving to the next. I'm going to go ahead and click off. So I'm going to go ahead and reject that change, go to the next one, and then it also gets rid of the comment that was tied to that uh, change. So let's see, years, pains, and hardships. If I accept it, that change, it gets rid of hardships because he deleted it. So if I click on it, it deletes it, still has the comment, and the suggestion for the comment says to use a synonym, adversities. So I can go ahead and click in here and say years, pain, and... See, that way, since I don't have my track changes on when I type it in, it's not going to highlight it or keep track of it. That's good. Okay, let's continue on. Let's click Next. And it's got the comment. It doesn't have any changes, just a comment that's been added. So I can go ahead and, well, if I click on reject the comment, it gets rid of it. Let me go ahead and hit undo. You can actually also come over here in the comments section and delete the comment. It does the same thing. Let's go ahead and go to the uh, next change. And notice how he added the space. I mean, unless you zoom in on the document, you can barely see that little blue underline because it looks like that the SO had no space between that and the AR. So he added the space, so it says, and so are the sores. And added the E after AR. So I want to go ahead and accept it so it keeps the space between those two words. And also he added the letter E, which, okay, without the E it wouldn't make sense. So I'll go ahead and accept that. And then it says, okay, we searched from that point down on. Do you want to start at the beginning of the document to see if we missed anything? I can go ahead and click and say yes. And it takes me back to the comment that I can go ahead, accept or reject it, or, you know, just delete it. Which brings up a good point. If somebody doesn't make any changes but just adds a bunch of comments, Instead of going ahead and using the uh, previous and next in the changes group, you can use previous and next in the comments group, and then just go ahead and delete the uh, comments as you go through it. I'm going to go ahead and hit undo. And if you have a comment in there, and you want to go ahead and comment on somebody else's comment, then just put your cursor in there, and then come up here, click on new comment. And what it does is it adds, well, of course, a comment. So as far as the comments go, it's one, two. But this, R1, means it's a response to what comment? Well, number one. If it was an R3, it would be a response to, well, comment three. And comment three would probably be somewhere down here. And maybe two up above, because it goes sequentially, you know, one, two, three, four, and so on. And then, of course, go ahead and type in, what else you got? I don't like adversities. And then, of course, you can go ahead and delete the comments. You know, click on delete, delete your own. 
with the comment selected, just click in it and go ahead and click delete as well. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.